TV shows. We all love them. And a few of us, the lucky few, get really obsessed with them. I'm one of the lucky few. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Especially now, guys, I'm obsessed with a couple shows, and that's why I made this video. I just needed to get it out there, share it to the world, the TV shows I'm obsessed with at the moment. So a majority of these TV shows are historical dramas, so if you do not like historical dramas, you should still watch this video because they're amazing TV shows. But that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video, so with that being said, let's get into it. So a few weeks ago, I decided to watch this new TV show called The White Princess on Stars. And if you guys know me, I love me some stars TV shows. Outlander. I was really excited when I found out that Stars was coming out with another TV show that was similar to Outlander in the sense that it is based off of a book. The White Princess. And has to do with historical things. I love that stuff. But when I was two episodes into watching The White Princess, I kind of was feeling like I was having some plot holes. Because a lot of the stuff I felt like I should have known before, but I didn't. And then I remembered, hey Sasha, this is a sequel to another series that is on TV slash in book form called The White Queen. And you should probably finish watching The White Queen before you watch The White Princess, since it takes place two days after The White Queen ends. So then I backtracked and I watched all of the White Queen, so that's the first show I'm gonna be talking about, is the White Queen. And it is so good, guys. Huh. So pretty much it takes place in 1464, and there's a blood feud between the houses of York and Lancaster. Young Edward, heir to the House of York, is the crowned king of England. And once he gets crowned, he falls in love with a commoner, Elizabeth Woodville, and they get married, and it's a huge, huge, huge controversy in the land because he married a commoner. That's not a thing that happens. And she was previously married before with two kids, so that's even more unheard of. It's like, ooh, dang, King Edward, what you doing? But he is like, I like her. She has a nice face, a good body, and she has a smart brain. So we married her, and then she is crowned queen. And it's really about their power struggles and them just ruling a land that is still like reigning from war and is just crazy and amazing and just such a phenomenal storyline. And it takes place over a countless years. So you just don't get like a certain span of a few years, but you get pretty much a majority of their lives. So it's so interesting seeing the nation evolve and seeing people evolve and seeing like this power play between houses grapple at each other over the course of this whole entire TV show and it's so good. to the White Princess, which takes place two days after the White Queen. So it really it just like glides you into it. But the TV show is quite interesting because they changed the whole entire cast from the previous TV series, The White Queen, for The White Princess because they actually had a pretty large gap of time in between the two shows, like three years, three, four years. And so a lot of the actors, they had to age because in the previous series, The White Queen, none of the actors, you saw a huge aging in them, even though like 20 some years have passed over the course of the storyline. So in this new TV series, The White Princess, they actually age the characters correctly. So everybody's aging, you kind of have to piece together who's who, but it, it's okay, it's not that hard. It's like, okay, that's obvious. Okay, so at the end of The White Queen, a very minor spoiler, not huge at all, but it actually has to do with a lot of the explanation for this one. Princess Elizabeth had a thing with her uncle. Even though it's not historically accurate, there's no proof about that, but it it's still a thing in this series, and I know this sounds really weird, but I feel like when you're watching historical dramas, like when somebody marries their cousin, you're just like, well, you just gotta roll with the flow. King Richard goes to war, and he's going to fight against King Henry, and they both technically have the right for the throne, and so, a war ensues, and King Henry wins, killing King Richard. And Miss Princess Elizabeth isn't very happy about it. And she's technically the prize for whoever wins this war, and that is King Henry, and she hates the guy because he killed her lover. She was supposed to marry her uncle. As weird as that is. Things aren't looking good for her. She is not happy. She just wanted to marry for love and here she is marrying her enemy. And it's about her and Henry getting married, about their fight to bring the kingdom at ease after a change of house, especially after 
after their marriage was supposed to unite the houses, instead it just created lots of uproar within the kingdom. And there's lots of conspiracies going on in it, there's lots of plotting, especially with Elizabeth plotting against her husband because she does not like him for a lot of the time, and about her mother, Elizabeth Woodville, also plotting against him, and there's just lots of plotting against each other in this show and in this book and it's just so so good. The actors are so phenomenal in there and like I feel like their costuming is so freaking good like no joke guys. But it's on point. Okay. When I watch a show guys I'm like for the white princess play. Ooh that costume's off fine. Ooh he just got his head chopped off. Mm, he's having a bad day. I feel like I'm missing something. What did, did they have a series before this one? Ooh, look at that. This is a sequel series. I should probably watch the prequel. Okay, I gotta go do that. Now I'm ready for the rest of the season. Uh huh. Aw, oh, dang it, it's live. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to wait another week for the next episode. I just want them to like each other and have sexy fun. No, Mama, I don't like you anymore. Like, I liked you in the last season, but I don't like you in this one that much. Yas, girl! Yas! So, the final one is Victoria, which is on PBS Masterpiece Classic. And let me tell you guys, I love me some Masterpiece Classic, like Polder, Downton Abbey. So good. So good. I never really thought about watching the show just because I never saw too much about it. Like I've been seeing it here and there, but whenever I saw it I was in the mood for historical dramas. I just don't watch a lot of TV like over the course of the year. I tend to have these binging sessions and so I'm in one of those sessions and probably when I saw Victoria it was mainly during one of those non-binging sessions so I didn't think much of it and then I thought about it luckily like two days ago and I ended up watching the whole entire season in like eight hours and I have no shame whatsoever about it. I was up all night, guys. All night. Okay, time for bed. First, just a little bit of TV. Ooh, it's actually pretty good. Ooh, this is exciting. Oh my gosh! Albert! He's so cute! He, wait, wait. They want to set her up with her cousin? Okay, I mean, that that's a thing that happened back then, if they want to do it. And it's already been done. Okay, just one more episode. Just one more. Just one more episode. Uh-huh, that's fine, just one more episode. It's just... I ship it! They're so cute! Oh no, that's not good. I can't stop. I, can't, I don't want to stop. What? It's only eight episodes? Oh. Dang it. And it's done. One season two, I need it right now. So this takes place in the 1800s and is about Queen Victoria and her rise to power and about her really finding the battle of being a woman, a female leader, in a male dominated government. And it's just so good because she is seen as a delicate flower, very short, very tiny, and very not able. But boy are they in for a shock by how much she actually wants in on government, how much she wants her voice heard, and how she's not going to take no for an answer if she is determined for them to say yes. And it's such a good TV show. Jenna Coleman is in it and she is my gal, she's my girl, love her. She was on Doctor Who and I loved her on that, I loved her outfit, it was so cute. I cosplayed her once. And seeing her on this was really awesome, even though she's wearing like really cool contacts because that's something I'm really appreciative about the TV show. If you do not know, Queen Victoria, she was very well known for her very piercing blue eyes. And Jenna, she has dark brown eyes. So they actually put color contacts in her eyes just so they can have that accurate stay true to who she was and I'm so excited about that because they don't really do that that often in TV shows and knowing that they did it in this one I'm like love you even more so I'm like obsessed with this TV show I'm literally it's so fresh in my brain right now because I am currently watching it well I'm not currently watching it I just finished watching it last night I'm still currently watching the white princess because it is currently on TV so I have to wait a week for each episode but for Victoria oh, binge that thing so fast so yes guys that is it for the TV shows I'm currently obsessing over I hope you enjoyed it let me know down below some of your recommendations for historical dramas I would love to know because I want to watch more of them more or more I'm currently watching 
the crown, but I did not add it into this video yet because I'm very in the early stages of watching it, so maybe I'll add it in another video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!